We have two families. The simplest thing is to split the cost. Okay, hello. Hey, um, what about us? It's our wedding. What about what we want? Four words. Our marriage, their wedding. But I'm just saying Repeat that... Repeat after me. Our marriage... <clears throat> our, 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 our marriage. marriage. Their wedding. Their wedding. wedding. Great. No question. Anytime, Jim. All right, uh, for his wedding pair, Regina King, first, I'm just honored to be across from you. Y'all are two of my favorite actors oh. in the world. I've been following you guys since 227. <laughs> all, I mean, Crying Game, all, the, all those great movies that, that you've been a part of. How was it working on this picture together? I mean, I believe it's the first time you guys were paired together. How was that, that experience? Exciting. Uh, I had a lot of fun. I wanted to work with her really bad. She's amazing. Uh, some magic was happening that was really... Made me really happy. Yeah, I, I mirror everything that he said. It was one of those things when someone that you have loved and admired their work for so long and you just kind of see each other from time to time at the events, like, hey, mm. oh my God, I'd love to work with him one day. And so it finally happened. Right. I can't wait to do it again, though. Yeah, mm. me too. It was fun seeing you do comedy. I mean, I, I know they said that you've done it like, prior to the big films, but it was fun to see you in this role as a comedic actor. Like, how was uh, that experience for you doing all these dramatic roles to playing this one and having a little bit more fun? Uh, yeah, that's the thing. It was like a, a, re a release, you know? Uh, just to like get to get on the set with the actors and not be so clouded up so that I could like really work with them and play with them too in a different way. It was fun for me. And right, right. Uh, I was... Uh, I was really happy to get a chance. I, I, we'll see how many more I'll do. I'll, I'll, when the right one comes, I'll do it again. Right, right. I'll do with her a movie with her anytime. <laughs> but <laughs> it's, yeah, I'm sure the audience would love to see that. Uh, I know that you guys have, have seen Hollywood from inside and out, and, and this movie is a little bit different in the fact that you got you know uh, a positive image of. I mean, I, I know y'all was going through a whole bunch of drama, but it was a positive image of a love stories for, for minorities. Um, how unique and how needed is these type of stories within the genre of all the other movies that we watch to see for like our communities? I think it's definitely important for our community, meaning African American community specifically. Mm -hmm. I think in Latin communities, they do have more of a sense of family, you know, the, the, and you witness that in uh, the movie with all the traditions, right, you know. Right. Um, but I think on more a universal level, I think these movies are necessary because of where we are and just, um, it, it's so hard to keep a relationship together. And I think um, although this is a comedy, as far as these relationships, some really real stuff is touched on. Mm -hmm. And um, I think life needs to imitate art or feel that they can survive something because I think that's the biggest thing if you ask anybody that's been married for 30, 40 years or someone that was only able to survive five years of marriage, mm -hmm. one of the things they say is the difference between the two is that we stayed together and we worked it out, that it was not all shiny and I love you and, you know, we're having sex every night, right. you know, in the relationship. That's not going to happen in a 40-year marriage, there are going to be times where it's not so great. Yeah. And you get to see three different types of couples survive. Right, mm. right. and that, that's good you said that, because that is a great part of the picture. I mean, you got Lance and America's character, but the adult relationships are also stuff that I'm sure a lot of people are going to be able to be familiar with and kind of mm -hmm. see themselves in. And um, how, another thing, um, a lot of people characterize movies as, well, this is a... Latin movie, or this is a black movie, but the director seemed to do a good job of making this a, a real universal picture, at the same time highlighting different uh, cultural stuff that yeah. goes on within our communities. How was you know that that experience working with the director, and um, and what do you attribute to his success in being able to pull that off? I, th I think he did have sensibility, like you said. I mean, because the movies are like kind of about becoming one big family. I think this there's a there's a big metaphor inside of it about like us as people, about people on the, in the country and the planet. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Passing by and not ignoring our cultural source, not you know not ignoring that this is this is our background, this is who we are, this is what makes up our DNA, but also that we can still cross it. You know what I mean? In another and still like work together and be together, be a family. 
I think Rick had a, a real sense of wanting to do that and avoiding the cliches while living in the culture. Like not having, you know, I, I'm with my son, you know what I mean? And that's that, that in itself is a father raising a son, a black father raising a son. It happens, but it, it's not the, you know, like the classic, you know, uh, uh, thing, which is, which is true. And he was trying to like play around with those things and, right. and still be true to like, you know, the, the issues, the broken families or, or the, this, it was great. I, I, it wasn't the typical relationships, but they all came together. And that's what being human is about. Mm. I think the music played a big part too, mm. you know, and mm. it, it, you're always interested, interested yeah. to see where, what type of music is it going to be. And he saw my son, we saw it last night and he was like, Mom, this is a good soundtrack. <laughs> so he just and he's fourteen and he loves all types of music, but I think the music wasn't specifically black, it wasn't specifically Latin, it was just great music right. and, right. and you know and just a great picture of great talent. And we appreciate your time. Can't wait to see you in Repo Mac, can <laughs> see, see you in Southland some more. Uh, please continue to be a great success for us. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Good to see you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.